Hello everyone, welcome to High Plane Games. My name's Simon and this is Complicated. Spot the clue in the title uh, as to what our titular character will be. Uh, this is a highly niche puzzle platform adventure game uh, which reminds me slightly of uh, Boulder Dash but with a cat and techno or technical vibe. Uh, one for the indie crowd, definitely. Thank you very much for the developer for sending this across for me to take a look at. I really appreciate it. Um, something that caught my eye when I was browsing through things that get sent my way, and I thought, oh, this I quite fancy this. Um, I am awful at it though, so please, please, please be kind whilst I try to explain to you what on earth this is all about. Um, so let's replay the first level so that I can tell you what it is all about. So you play as this cat here and you basically clear up the circuit board that you're trapped in collecting these qubits um, and pushing around otrons so that they land where you need them or want them to go. Now where you're clearing out a circuit board underneath and this is why I was saying it reminds me so much of um, Boulder Dash is that obviously gravity pulls everything down so therefore if you're stuck underneath something that falls oh dear game over for you and you need to restart from your last save point. However you've also got this whole thing around um, programming so when you find floppy disks you can stop in and, and program different barriers to do different things as you go along. Uh, and that means that there's some light programming mechanics involved in this game. Uh, very, very light, uh, as you can maybe tell, but they're there nonetheless. Uh, some things are timered, as you can see here with the battery thing. It'll go down from a 1 to then a 0, and then you can see the battery kind of plonking itself down. But uh, yeah, the idea is that you just need, you may need to push things around so that you can kind of get to the otrons because you need to collect a certain amount of otrons per level uh, and you can save with those uh, switches there. So I really like the aesthetic and the way how things work uh, but you need to be able to collect a certain amount of these spinny things that look like atoms to me um, to be able to get to the end of the level uh, and succeed but then you also have to not die <laughs> and sometimes that's actually way more difficult because you can die actually with your collectible falling on your head as well. Just don't let anything fall on your head <laughs> and you'll be fine in this game. But uh, I mean I've done this level a couple of times because I tried to record this earlier and forgot to press record because I was an idiot and then someone came to the door the second time I played this. So this level makes sense to me. Uh, so I've got all 35 and I've done it within the time limit that is um, expected for bonus timing essentially for what's left so let's try nom noms level two so as you can see there is an absolute crap ton of specials running around here for this one and it's up to us to work out how we can get as many of them as possible So this is using the, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, I do need to go that way, but not yet. Uh, you can use W, A, S, and D as well. I'm gonna go this way. trying to remember how I've done it. I think I've already just done it all horribly wrong. <laughs> so yeah, so... Yeah, that's... We've buggered that up. So we've lost all of the ones that are down there, essentially. So work out how to do that better when you play the game yourself. <laughs> um, because if you get splattered, you is deed. So uh, let's push that over there. see these things roll in a direction when they hit those types of things. So that's unlocked that gate which is great but I want to try
try and collect as many of these as possible. Let's save. That wasn't clever of me, was it? I should have gone down and under. So that's effectively cut off all of the, the ones that are there as well. So hopefully I'll have still have actually collected enough to survive the level. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Now you can see that I'm pushing. I'm, I'm getting rid of. Uh, ah! And yeah, it's going to happen as soon as I've done it. <laughs> so there we go. It takes us back to our save which sadly we've already committed the cardinal sin here of what we didn't want to do so it's just finishing the final bit um, so if I stand next to something I can swipe away what's around me so that becomes much more uh, required later on in said game and there we go I've got myself stuck again <laughs> Because I'll never get I'll never get to the exit now, so let's just splat myself. And you can see you rejoin back with the same amount of time and atoms that you've got before. So let's let's not take any challenges this time. Let's just get to the end. So there we go. Not enough cubits. Game over. So that's kind of how that works as a Gaby in a level. Let's dive through to the next thing. And I'll show you the next level. So yes, this is highly niche. I really like the uh, chiptune music. I like the idea and the design and the aesthetic of everything and the way how like programming is pushed into things. Oh, I've already done this wrong. Let's dive back because we need to be able to move that out of the way and then dive through here. There we go, go me and my timer. Hey. I was gonna say we've lost that. <laughs> got ourselves stuck again. Yes we have. <laughs> We're doing terribly. Let's try this again. Uh, you also have a help screen as well which lets you understand exactly what's going on and uh, how the programming all works as well. Uh, so let's just kill our kitty to end this. Poor guy. Sob sob. That's a fair, ah, actually go. It's Steve Achievement Electrified there for that. Um, so yeah, that's how the game works. It is really complicated initially. Then things start to kind of get together and you're like, oh, okay, that's kind of how it works. But the levels are really well crafted and very fiendishly difficult. Um, and that's why I liken this game very similar to if you like uh, Boulder Dash or Dig Dug, those types of things. You'll be... Um, very much at home here. Uh, Mr. Driller as well. Very similar in types of gameplay. Proper old school platforming, dodging adventure, puzzle. Don't get yourself stuck in a corner. So that's complicated. It's available now on Steam. Uh, I believe it's currently on 50% off because we're in the Steam uh, Black Friday sale. Um, yeah, if you fancy it, pick it up. I give it a thumbs up. You guys will take care. Thank you very much uh, to the developer and for yourselves for watching. Bye for now.